Words of open faith, the 23rd Psalm. Adonai ro'i lo echsar b'no'ot desha yar bitzeni. Almei menuchot yanachaleni. Naf shi yeshovev. Yancheni b'maglei tzedek l'ma'an shemo. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He leads me beside still waters. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his namesake. Gam ki elech begei tzel mavet. Lo irara ki ata imadi. Shiv techa umishan techa. Hema yenachamuni. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Ta'aroch lefanai shulchan neged tzorarai, deshanta b'shemen aroshi kosi revaya. Ach tov v'chesed yardifuni kol yemei chayai. Vishafti bevet Adonai, Loorich Yamim. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I invite you to join me as we pray together. Eternal Father, strong to save, thank you for honoring us with your presence at this ceremony of remembrance. To know you in times of joy and success is a wonderful blessing for which we are truly grateful. Yet to experience you in times of tragedy and sorrow to experience you when everything goes wrong and all our best efforts are not enough, to experience you then is to us life and our only reliable hope. Thank you, O oh God, for having been with us through the past four difficult days. We thank you in advance for your presence with us in your future. But, O oh God, it is your presence with us now that enables us to persevere when we think we no longer can. We lift before you these seven families, as well as the NASA family, for whom this loss is personal and intense. Please lead them through the valley of the shadow of death. Where there is sorrow, we pray for your comfort. Where there is loneliness, we ask for a reassuring sense of your presence. Where the great questions beg for answers, grant your wisdom. And where it seems the ability to face the next day is no longer there, grant your guidance and the strength to finish well. Dear God, we pray also for ourselves as a nation. May we not only mourn the loss of our valiant crew, may we also be inspired by their lives of purpose and accomplishment. From America or India or Israel or any other place where people live in freedom, raise up among us some boy or girl, some college student who will catch the vision and dedicate themselves to the disciplines necessary for excellence. Help them see in these our heroes the qualities against which to pattern their lives and then explore, probe, experiment, and in so doing, catch a further glimpse of you through the wonder of your creation. As we depart this place, we pray now your blessings upon these families, the NASA community, and upon our great nation. 
God bless America. Amen. in Houston, they look to the skies for picture. There were four. Each of them flown by a veteran of space flights, but one. The favorite training aircraft of astronauts ever since the manned space program began. How they travel back and forth from the Johnson Space Center, opened in 1961, to Florida, from which STS-107, Columbia, lifted off and, as the president said, was lost so close to home. the NASA administrator and the chief of the astronauts office who made it helped us understand them in a much more personal way than we had even until now with all of their biographies each of them the president said had the daring and discipline required of their calling. 
remembering today seven lives of purpose. The president saying what everybody in that community knows. To leave behind air and gravity is an ancient dream. And great endeavors mean great risks.